go. Hey, Jamie, this is Sarah. How are you? Sarah, hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, are you done with your certification? Where are you? Uh, no, close though. Real close, like hours away. Can you taste it? Can you taste the yeah, sweet? Yeah, it's, I'm exhausted. I feel like, it's feel like when it's, when I went to nursing school and I had to take the nursing boards, I just crammed and studied and I didn't sleep. And yeah, last night I was having dreams about coaching people. And I, <laughs> I woke up and I swear I was talking to my fiance in the middle of the night coaching him, but I don't, I don't know how that went. So either you're insane or really passionate about yeah, both. I think like a little bit of both. Okay. So what are you going to do to celebrate once you're, once you're done? Sleep. Um, I don't know. I'm, I've not really been a stop and enjoy the moment kind of person I'm trying to be. I've always wanted to do the next thing, um, and get to the next step, but I'm really working Sarah on trying to enjoy the journey and celebrate my achievements. Um, yeah. that's not easy for me. So are you still working with, um, Sarah? Yeah, she's the best. She's stuck with me for life. Is she probably going to be finishing about the same time? She is. Yep. We talked earlier today and her goal is Friday, but I think it's going to be Wednesday and maybe even today. She just doesn't really know it yet. So, um, can I just give you some just advice before we get started on, on a couple of things? Yeah, for sure. So I, I really just think that you have worked really hard. Um, it's been, it's been just a really interesting journey to be <coughs> At the curtain with you and I just want to give you permission to stop and enjoy this accomplishment like I mean how many how many people in the world have done this right now <laughs> um, maybe three right mm -hmm. so I'm gonna give you permission to take some time and I know you're gonna be traveling like think about what you and Sarah need to talk about this like what do you want to do to celebrate this, you know, whether it's a massage or a pedicure or a bottle of Camus or, you know, whatever it is, like come up with something that you guys need to stop and celebrate this. Like, you know, otherwise you just, you, the type of personality that you have, you're just going to keep working and never stop and, and really drink it in. Right. So can you promise me between now and next week, you will have either celebrated or come up with a plan and time blocked time for celebration. Okay. Yep. I promise you that I'll do that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to write it down. Okay. I, as crazy as it is, I really feel like it's important okay. that you take time to celebrate that. Okay. Um, so I would like to talk to you a little bit about the, the, what it's going to take, what sales, what um, clients, what coaches it's going to take in order for you to feel like you've had a productive year. Okay. Um, so um, can you, do you have your um, GPS in front of you? I do. Yes. Okay. Would you pull up your um, goal versus actual? Yes. Okay. Um, so I think if, if I remember correctly, let me look back at your GPS. Um, you have been doing this. We're talking July through July. Correct. So I believe that we can do change these. Um, the month July. after July. Mm -hmm. August. Um, I'm just going to do this first one. Then would you have time to maybe fill the rest of these out after we go through? I can. Yeah. This sheet intimidates me a little bit, um, okay. but I'd love to see the money part of it. So yeah. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, and then June. Okay. Um, so let's start with that. So um, I know going back to our GPS here, you want to have, 30 coaches. Yes, correct. 30 direct coaches by next July. Okay. Do you know how many total team-wide you think is possible? Um, team-wide, 100. I would love to have 100. Ooh, that sounds like a big number. All right. Let's start with just direct first. So our goal is um, 30. 30, right? Yep. And actual right now. Um, I have people enrolled for July three okay. who have also in turn are bringing a couple of people. So, I mean, I think my organization right now could be seven. 
Um, okay, let's, we'll do total organization next. So, okay, right here, we're gonna say direct coaches, okay? And as of July, you have um, four, right? Correct. So you're already- I have three. Wait, you have three? Three. Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe the universe knows and I'll have four. Okay. Um, so you're already ahead of the game, right? Um, and so we have, I don't know why that says three there. So, um, each month we're going to go across here. I don't know why that says, oh, I don't know. okay. Um, we're going to check in each month and see where you landed. Okay. So, um, and you're already a little bit ahead of the game, but it sounds like in order to get to that 2930 number, you're going to have to have some months with three not just two. Right. Right. So, um, oh, that's why there was a three there because there had to be at least one month with three. That's why that was there. Oh, that's a smart computer system. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So let's talk about total org. Right. So you right now, um, have just your three or do you have three total or four total? Um, I have three direct, um, one direct is bringing somebody. So there's one and then another direct is bringing two people. So there's three additional. So is that six total? Six. Good for you, girl. Okay. So our, what we're looking for is a hundred. Okay. Um, so which means you need to be having eight go a month. Does that sound Eight go a month, at least two to three direct, and then they should be bringing at least two, right? Two, four, six, if I have three, whew, maybe I need to up my direct goal. Maybe, or do you need to adjust this total org goal? Let's see what it would look like if it said 50. We can always go back and adjust it. Does this, yeah. does that four? I think that look might sound more realistic for right now, just because okay. we haven't started. Okay. Um, yeah, we can always go back and adjust this. So, but right now with both of your goals, you're a little ahead of the game. So that's not terrible, Perfect. right? Um, so in order for that to happen, um, let's talk here about uh, how many uh, conversations you're having. Um, in order to get to direct coaches of at least two a month, how many conversations do you feel like you're going to need to have in order to get two people there? 20. You think that's your conversion rate? 20 conversations to two people going a month? Maybe even less than that because the conversations I've had, I maybe have had 10 conversations and three have gone. Um, okay, well, let me, let me do this. Let yeah. me go back to um, reach outs, okay? Okay. So let's start with that. So how many reach outs, let's start with January. How many, how many reach outs, well? July. Per July. month. Yeah, I'm sorry, we'll have to change all those. No, it's fine. Um, so it's per fine. month, reach outs. So do you think maybe it's 20 reach outs to 10 conversations that would le lead to two coaches? Do you feel like that's a conversion rate? Yeah, that I think that could work? be fair to say for now. Okay. So I think I have a higher conversion rate than that, but I don't have solid numbers to work off of because I haven't, I haven't been intentional about, about lead gen and, and actual conversations, but I think that's fair to say, and maybe next week or the next two weeks when we talk, we can touch base and adjust it. Okay. Uh, okay. So that would mean 20. So how many conversations have you had? Well, we're going to start this in July, so we'll see. And yeah, we're, I think we're going to soon figure out what your conversion rate is. This is a very, very rude, big. right? Um, so at this point you've had, this is for July, right? Yep. Um, okay. So if we're thinking 20 reach outs a month, and then let's talk about conversations from there. Yeah, 20 reach outs will get me 10 conversations. So that would be That's 120 a conversations. Conversion rate, right? but um, does that sound, does this sound good? Yeah, I think it sounds good. Ooh, 240. Yeah, I could do that. That's 240 for the year. Right. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that come next week, once this is done, that reach out rate will increase. And it, and a lot of it is my belief in the company and my ability to do well at this has to grow. Um, and right. like, I have to see some progress before I can really show what it's doing for other people. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay. So tell me when you say see progress for you to have belief, what? Not, I mean, I believe in the potential of it, but I need to have something act to some actual experience to be able to talk about. And because the company's so new, I can only go out. I mean, I said before, there's what three certified coaches within the company right now. So that's not a large pool to pull data from. Um, so I want to be able to say like, Hey, this is, this is what we did. This is how we did it. This is how you can do it too. Okay. So does that go back? Does that still line up with our GPS? Um, which this obviously the certification has to come first. Yep. Um, so do you feel like getting your coaching clients is going to be something that's got to come pretty quickly? Yeah, I think. And then on this GPS, I'm going to change it because I have access in it now. I'm going to put it to 50 certified coaches, right? Um, so just changed on our org. Well, 50 total org. So we still have 30 direct coaches. I still have 30. Wait, at the very top, be fully functioning MAPS business coach July to July with 30 direct coaches in a oh, team yes. of mm -hmm. 50 certified coaches with 500 clients. I might decrease that to 250 just since we cut the amount of certified coaches within the agency. Does that make sense? Okay, so if we've got uh, 30 direct coaches. So let's just do a little math here. 30 direct coaches. How many on average do you feel like they're going to have? How many, how many clients are we going to say on average? Um, I would love to say 10 because that's only five hours a week of work. Okay. So um, we have 30 direct coaches times 10. So you've got 10 clients on that front line, 300 clients being coached on your front line. Do you know how much you make per client that they're coaching? Uh, charging the minimum of what MAPS wants us to charge, um, $400 per client. Your, no, your coaches, your direct coaches. That's what you're making for your 10. Mm, 100? 100, okay. Actually, I think it's 50. But So 300 50? times 50. You're right, it's 50. Okay, so that just, that is 15,000? A month. Monthly. Mm -hmm. They were looking at by July. 15,000 off my 30 directs coaching 10 clients each. Yes. That doesn't include my coaching clients or yeah. the revenue share. So if you've got 10 direct coaching clients um, and you're charging, would you say you're going to charge? 1,500. 1,500. So when we figured it out the other day, then that means you're making about a thousand dollars. Okay. About 10K a month, right? Yeah, 10K a month. Okay, so you've got 10K a month on your personal coaching. All right, and so then if you've got uh, 200 and, or 50, 50 coaches, so we've got um, 20 more, because that 50 is including your 30, right? That 50 is including my 30 directs. That so my 10,000 would just be for me with my 10 coaching clients. Correct. And mm -hmm. then the 15,000 is in addition with my 30 direct coaches. Right. There's also referral fees involved. Okay. So if I lead generate like a boss and have excess of leads that I could then feed to my direct coaches or somebody in my downline and take that hundred dollar referral fee for the life of the contract. That's even more money. So do you think you can add at least 10 of those a month? 10 clients, 10 referrals, give away 10 clients. That would be a great goal. Okay. Yep. So that'd be another thousand, right? Yep. That's another thousand. Okay. So then if we're looking back up, so if you're, if your goal right now is 50 certified coaches and 20, 30 of those are your direct. So we already accounted for those. Let's just say you have 20 working people in your organization that are below your directs. Uh, do you know what you make on that next level deep? Let's assume they're all in your second generation. I think that's all the revenue share piece. I don't think I make anything off my second gen unless it's a referral. 
Um, okay, so that's probably something to check into. Because um, I thought you said you got paid seven generations deep. I do, but it's revenue share. It's not, it like revenue share means, yes, I do get paid, but it's, I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Like I, I make a small percent, a small number. I think it's a set dollar amount. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like. Okay. So if it's 50 for your direct coaches, let's just say it's 25 for your next level. Is it? Let's say, let's just say for. For, for, for shits and yeah. giggles. 25. Okay. So let's just go with that. And so we're talking about 30, 20 people. And if they each have, we're going to go with that 10 a month. Like 10, right? yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, times $25. That's another 5,000. So um, very rudimentary numbers right here. We're looking at. That was a big word, teacher Sarah. Well, you know. I like all these zeros I'm putting in here, sister. Okay, so we got goal versus actual. What are you in right now? I lost what page you were on. I am actually just on my little calculator at this oh. moment. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, Tell me what your little calculator says. Yeah, that's like a legitimate old calculator. So, um, actually, and let's just go over here to let's see where would be a good place to put this. Um, I want to. I feel like I want to see it. I need to see okay. it right now. I'm such a visual person, and if I go to then share because everybody wants to know potential right. you know I do see where I am here at the bottom of your goal versus actual okay goal versus actual at the bottom all right right down here I'm on 119 number 119 on your goal versus actual okay I'm there I see all you right. all <laughs> right so here's here's what I um so 10,000 a month for your personal I see you person. anonymous wolf and that is uh Oh. Cancel. Okay, fine. Uh, personal coaching, and that is for 10 a month. Okay. And then we have 15,000 a month for um, direct coaches. 30 direct coaches that are coaching 10 a month. Okay. And then we have a thousand a month and that is for 10 referral fees, right? So you're giving away 10 clients yep. at this point, which I think that's a conservative number as well. And then uh, another 5,000 a month for the 20 additional uh, agency members below direct coaches and they each have 10 clients a month as well. So if we add this up, wait, the 20 additional agency members. Okay, perfect. I had to rewrite, rewrite that. Re Say that. So this is our goal for July 2020, right? How's that number look? Woo! I mean, $31,000 a month in July. Yeah. I've got to go hardcore. Yeah. Um, so how are you feeling about that? Good. Really good. I mean, $31,000 a month doesn't suck. And you know, what's crazy about this is we even brought it back from the, you know, a hundred to 50. So that, yeah, I think you just need to get started and see what that is going to look like. So do you, do you feel like, you know, if we go back up, I mean, I feel like you were pretty confident that these numbers are doable, right? Like this I think is that they are. Yeah, I feel, stretch. I mean, I'd love to do more than that, but I think that's a realistic goal to start with. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty cool that we even brought down your total org number to 50 and uh, we still ended up with this number. Should we um, 
have a, so my accountability partner and I share this scorecard. Um, should we have a goal versus actual for each of us? Um, well, do you have the same goals? Yeah, I think so. I'm, we're going to chat after this call. Yeah. Um, so I can ask her. But I would say it probably would still be a good idea to each have your own uh, because, you know, you're going to put in your own numbers here of how many you send each month. True. So let me do this. I'm going to say duplicate and we'll I'm call this saying, you know, If I were to per se coach her on these, I'd love to go in and fill out what hers are to see if we line up. Okay. Um, so I think, yeah, Jamie, this is exciting. Right? How are you feeling about that number? I mean, um, I feel great about that number. Okay. Let's talk, let's talk about this number, um, right down here. So what does that mean? This is one of your businesses. Yeah right? Every month. Okay. So if this is what you are making and I, and I truly do feel like this is conservative. Um, what, what does this mean for your family? Mm, we won't have any debt. So a year from now with no debt, what does that mean for your family? A lot. That'd be amazing. I mean, it'd be great. I just want to be able to show other people that they could do it too. Cause living with debt sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel that in your voice that that's been a stressor in your life. Um, so being a part of your journey to be able to help you do this is going to be uh, amazing. So glad that you're my coach. Oh, thank you, Jamie. Okay, so let's let's do one thing you need to check on between um, now and next week is to make sure you understand that um, the structure, your pay structure, right? Like what you're going to that's on my list to do, um, send an email and get like the, the back office stuff figured out. The, sure. what you're getting paid each. Oh yeah. The pay structure and the, yeah. Uh, you're going to want to know that. Um, do you have any idea what the retention rate is going to be for your coaches or clients? Do you? Um, no, I mean the, the life, the contract that coaching clients sign is a year. Okay. Um, and I know the pay structure is set up for the life of the contract, whether it's revenue share or referral fees or your coaching pay. Mm -hmm. um, but since it's such a new company, I mean, I know there's a need for coaches and I know that the Keller Williams realtors have been using something similar, uh, but where this is so new, that's kind of unknown, but I am sure having owned businesses that there's a huge need for coaching and people aren't going to jump ship because this is a great system and very simple to follow. So it's going to be interesting to find out what the, uh, what the rate is going to be. Do they, you know, do people stick with this for 12 months? Um, you know, how many of the coaches that you recruit actually finish, you know, do you, do you have anything set up to try to help those coaches get to success like you and your partner have done? Um, yeah, we, we had created a video, um, which we're sharing with our, uh, recruits. Um, but I think it's where it's, it's different than our road in a field business and that we don't, we're not responsible for handholding. Um, I think it's one of those just bringing awareness to our new recruits from the very beginning, even, even when they first go to Ogden before they even go. Yeah. Just the, the importance of, of really plugging in and owning this and completing it. I think that may be the challenge of finding really great people that are ready at their point in life to do something like this. Okay. So I have a question. Um, so if you, you recruit somebody to go maybe in August or even July, you have some people going in July, what yeah. have you sent them or had them do to prepare themselves for going to August now that you know what you know? Yeah. I mean, that's, I, I would love to do that before they go in July in the next couple of weeks, um, have another, I've had a zoom conversation with two of the girls, um, that are going in July that just kind of asked questions. And I actually showed them the 411. I said, you know, this is what we're working off. I recommended that they read the one thing, um, and that they plug into the one thing podcast. Cause I think that's something it would be so smart to complete before going 
And then I showed them the 411 because I remember the first time I saw it in Ogden, I felt very overwhelmed just with the image of it. I mean, I hadn't dissected it yet, but right. obviously knowing what I know now, that's what I brought to them of, you know what guys, this is really simple and look at it, familiarize, familiarize yourself with it. And then I challenged them to become accountability partners. Okay. So, um, do you think it would be, um, helpful if maybe you and Sarah, since you guys are the experts in this to maybe come up with a, a solid plan of yeah. what you could send potential coaches, Yep. you know, like, a a notes or, you know, just a, I mean, you guys could do that in your, in, you know, in your 411, you know, so some, you know, something that you could have easy to send to potential coaches and then also have something to send coaches once they've committed to going, you know, because yeah. there's got to be some things that you're doing in your um, course that they could maybe get a head start on. Or, you know, I heard, I heard you say maybe reading the one thing, um, would it, would it be helpful to be able to maybe if we're, if we're looking at retention rate for coaches, um, I think there's some work we can do Yeah, that that's going to help, you know, what, what, what we do have control over. No, you would want to babysit. Um, but you also do want to set them up for the best success you can get. So you can get to that 31 K. Yeah, right? totally agree. Yeah. Cause I mean, it's, I've been in recruiting, a recruiting company before and I know how, hard it can be to, to cast that vision and to get people to see the potential and then to actually do the work is a whole nother story. So if we can get them in and love on them and set them up for success from the very beginning, yeah, I think that'll have a much better retention rate. Um, do you think that's something that you and Sarah would probably want to work on? Yeah. I mean, that'd be yeah. awesome. I don't Sounds know like whether it's are... video or we've had conversations around what to create, like an opportunity call. I mean, yeah. we have one right now, but coming from the world Sarah and I come from, we love like bright, sexy, beautiful, fun <laughs> energy. So I think we could bring that into the company by creating something that even other people within, you know, any part of maps could use. And that's where I'm so grateful that we have each other because we have this like abundant mindset of let's help everybody while we work yeah. on us. All right. I popped over back to your, uh, 411. I know it says week five, but it's probably going to be early July, you know, whenever you restructure it. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to put in here, create, um, a retention, you know, you and I will know that that's the purpose of this okay. <laughs> a, a retention. What could we call this? Um, um, retention, create a retention project. Um, yeah. Let's just yeah, call that for now. What that means. And what that means is, you know, a call, a video for um, one for potential and then one for enrolled. Potential coaches, and we're going to create and one for potential. Um, no. No, one for enrolled. Enlisted, enrolled, enlisted. It's like the military. Enrolled coaches. I love having this 411, Sarah, because I have notebooks literally everywhere all over my desk right now. Oh, yeah. And I make these little scribble notes, but then I'll go about my day, but I can always come back to this 411. Um, okay, going back to this, what are some other things that we have control over to make this number happen? Uh, referral fees. Let's let's skip down to that. What are some things that we can do, and maybe not today, but just to kind of add to our list that could lead towards more referral fees? Does that sound sound like that's easy money? Um, referral fees for myself or referral fees? Because I think I can even find Keller Williams Realtor. Like I think I can go into a meeting and mention what I'm doing and ask for referrals okay so you're gonna start diving into Keller right yeah I'm gonna type in here dive into Keller okay and um, yeah perfect dive into Keller any other where other referrals you know where are you gonna get these fish that you're gonna feed your team hmm I think conversations with the business owners the list that I'm that I'm going to make of potential clients I think asking for referrals because yeah. everybody knows somebody in business, especially if you're a small business owner, the way that you find success is by, 
you know, working with your competition or no, being aware of who they are and asking people how to take your business to the next level. I mean, that's how I've found success. Yeah. So asking for referrals for sure. Um, so Jamie, you know, to me, this looks like you've got, this is so smart. You in the end to make that 31,000, if you do this right, you are only going to be working five hours a week. Am yeah. I right? Yep. Yeah. This is brilliant. Isn't that um, exciting? So, and time just flew by. How fun is it to make $31,000 a month? I know. I'm so, I cannot wait to see where our calls are a year from now and, and what oh. we're doing. This is going to be a great time. So I like that we kind of have some things set up for next week. I know you really want to finish up your certification, but it, yeah. to me, it just really is important to know where you're headed. So yeah, for sure. uh, and I, I feel like this is really doable and conservative. And I think that number could actually grow as we move along. So um, at the end of July, we'll revisit this. So okay. keep track of your reach outs, your conversations. Um, and let's add those in, or you can do it as you go. Like when you do reach outs or conversations, add it in here. You can always add to it. You, know, it. you don't have to wait till the end of July to do that. Um, does that sound good? So good, Sarah. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Right, Get my work cut out for me. Oh yeah, girl. We'll talk next week. All right. Thanks girl. All right. Bye. bye.